Good morning, it is day 13 of our advent calendar. Don't forget, tomorrow, day 14, is envelope day, so we will be live on Facebook and YouTube at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I do hope you can join me for that. But that's tomorrow, we're interested in today. So, what is behind day number 13? We'd better go and find out. Day 13 it is, and there he is, right at the top. And actually, if you look, we've got 10, 3, and then 13. <laughs> I'm having a maths lesson this early in the morning. Right, let's get this door open, shall we? There we go. I remember this one there. There we go, open it up. Ding, 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 just like that. Bit of a fiddly one again. So today we have got a little branch. Look at that, how cute is that? So what are we going to make? Not sure. I'm soon going to find out. Today I thought we'd do an index card because we've done one for the first set of stamps, then one for the second, so this will be the one for the third. Now we have got our texture stamp, our oak leaf, our acorns and um, the lovely little one from today. So I'm thinking a bit of splat, splat a bit of ink on there, a bit of our texture stamp and maybe our new stamp twisting through that's my idea we still haven't got any words so i'm going to still nick the words from the first set for my flower set um but i think that's going to be my idea so i'm going to start off with a bit of color in the background so should we go brusho or um, i'm going to go brusho for this one so i'm going to go and rummage for my gambos it's definitely gambos this time not sandstone just do a little sprinkling in the background Ooh, that came out a lot faster than it should There we go, and I'm going to knock that back a bit because we've got texture stamps and we've got our flower, uh, our leaf to go on there. So I'm just going to knock that back. So basically, take some of the colour away using some kitchen roll. There we go, and then we're going to dry that with our heat gun. This is lovely and dry now. So I've got my texture stamp ready, and I'm going to go in with sepia, I think. I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to start in the centre and then we can work away from it, can't we? So, probably one there. Let's ink it up again. I do love this texture stamp. Mm, maybe we should have done second generation. So, I'm trying to create a bit of a shape that we can wind our um leaf through right i think i've gone a bit over the top with that <laughs> nothing new there is there i always go over the top with my texture stamps so now i want to create like a little vine type thing i have to put that right on the edge of my stamp block going to start popping it coming down I'm going to stamp it and see what happens we can always fix it can't we I'm just going to start inking this up I am using black so let's start popping this down oops I've got it overlapping never mind go it's reminding me a bit of a tomato vine at the moment you know they just seem to come out of nowhere the stalks on tomatoes right what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cling it to the top of the page as well so let's pop that one in there oops a daisy didn't didn't stamp that very well did I it's because I was getting giddy that it might be working I didn't stamp that well either You've actually got to press the stamp when you stamp stamping. I didn't then. Right, so we've got a bit of a vine going on there. Just, it does give a bit of um, feel of tomato, doesn't it? Didn't mean for that. So I'm going to get it dry and then we're going to start painting it, I think. That's nice and dry now. Ignore the really bad stamp in there. That's the nice thing about working in my index card book. It's only me that gets to see it. 
so little mistakes like that nobody sees so we'll show on the table i've chosen leaf green for this one and i don't want to add too much water to it because those leaves are only teeny tiny aren't they she says and then she just gets lots and lots of water in there i'm just going to start by adding a little bit of water always add to our colour. It's a little bit harder to take colour away. It is possible we brush out but if we add, if we build up our colour gently. Just like that. Oops. Definitely don't look too closely at this page. <laughs> it's got a few little whoopsies on it. There we go. And then just to get a little bit more. Let's get your deeper tones. I'm just going in again with a bit more concentrated brush out this time. I've been a bit too generous with my water is my problem on my desk. I am liking that though. So I think I'm going to just leave my paintbrush to one side and I'm going to dry this off. That's all nice and dry. What I want to do, I've still got this lovely brush on my desk. I'm going to turn my book around a little bit and we're going to stamp using our brush out just to give it a bit of a fuller effect. So again, pop your ink um, into, your, into your stamp and then walk it out so you don't get lots and lots of blobs of ink just get the image there you go i'm not doing too much in fact i'm doing the same stamps all the way through aren't I? so again you could see i picked up loads there didn't i so just walk it out we don't want oh dear we don't want all of that ink there we go um i still can't fit it in there we go that works better so i don't want all those big blobs i just want it very gently to come out there we go i don't actually think i need this last one nope because it won't fit <laughs> there we go you can just see it. it's really faint in the background and then before i get going on drying that off i'm just going to add a little bit more water i know more water and i'm just going to pick it up and we're going to give it a quick splat getting that everywhere i was going to do very gentle splatting but that didn't work did it there we go right yep so i'm going to dry this off and clean up my desk we go that's all nice and dry we've got our splats on there as well um and those lovely little you can just see those little leaves in the background that we did with our brush out so i have now got my happiness because we haven't had any words yet for this stamp set and there's only one more day so we will see what we get tomorrow so i'm going to ink this one up 
just checking I got my black there and I have so I've got my happiness it's coming very handy from that first set hasn't it and we're going to pop that over here and then all I'm going to do I'm going to take my create as well because actually I'm really chuffed how this has turned out I know it's not stamped the best in the world but as an idea it's, it's turned out pretty good so I am going to grab there we go, my vintage sepia again. I'm just going to ink that one up. And then very gently in the background, it's a chicken and egg. I could have done this before or after. Oh, that black wasn't dry, can you tell? Because it's picked up on my create. Never mind. No one will notice if I don't tell them. Just be careful when I'm stamping near that black. Bit rude of it, isn't it? I don't want this on my paper this time because I think I've got enough of the first generations. I'm just going to add a few more in the background of here as well. Right, I'm quite happy with that. Just to finish off, you know it's coming. I just want my little gel pen. And we're just going to, one, see if we can um, <coughs> hide some of my not so great stamping i was going for the double layer wasn't i that, that, that's what i was doing on this i'm just going to turn it around i'm just going to add a teeny tiny bit not a lot just enough just on here There we go. I'm not going to do any more with that. Um, but I had great fun playing with that one. If I hold it up, actually, you'll see it. There you go. See how cute is that? It does look like a tomato, though, doesn't it? Bit of a tomato leaf going on. Day 13, all done and dusted, which means tomorrow we are on our envelope and the final stamps for this stamp set. Um, so we have had, let me see if I can there. We have had our oak leaf our circle, our two little acorns, and the one I've just been stamping with today. Oh, I didn't put it back. Disaster. There, put it on the wrong stamp set. There you go. And that one. Mine's nice and green because I've used it with a brush here. But there you go. You've got your little viney um, branch stamp there as well. So, what will be behind day number 14? Join me live tomorrow on Facebook or YouTube at 10 o'clock to find out.